I don't feel Good like morning. Life. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Saturday morning webinar. What day is today? November? December. December, 6th. December 6, 2014. And uh, I want to start off by saying that I'm uh, Corey, who is a friend of ours, sent us a uh, Organite uh, little charm. They sent one to, for me and one for um, Max, and it helps us get uh, protected and uh, it protects and clears EMF uh, radiation energy and things of that nature. How many of you people are into stones and rocks and things of that nature and know about organite? Well, uh, they sent uh, Corey sent us a pendant, and it's really really nice. And it's, it's beautiful to wear, and it also protects and makes you feel better and takes away their uh, radioactivity out of your system. So it's fantastic. Good. Now you get to try it and see how it works. It's, <laughs> and Francine's with us today. Say hi, Francine. Good morning. So Good morning, I'm, I'm happy that how are you? one guest it's, it's, it's sort of a rainy gray morning so a lot of people will sleep in today I'm sure so anyway um, anybody have any announcements out there no? um, well the only announcement I well the only thing I would like today maybe if it would be nice if Martin Luther King would show up who Martin Luther King Oh, Martin Luther King again? Yeah. He showed up once. Yeah, yes. he showed up once. But I think uh, due to the things that have been happening, I think it would be it would be good oh, to hear okay. from him. If it, if he is around. If he's around. He around. Yeah. Um, Angel well, the Heal. Angel the Heal or Angel Michael is another one. Oh, the Angel the Heal or Angel Michael? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know uh, Jim. I know uh, Max once requested uh, Melchizedek. Oh, yes, from the Bible. Okay. Yes. From the Old Testament. Old Testament, yeah. Yes, he was a very enlightened... The, the Sage of Old Salem, Testament. they called him. The Sage of Salem. There's yes. not much written about him, though. No, there's really. not. Really, very he, little. Apparently in the Bible, he's the one that lived very, very long, too, like Methuselah. And I'm yes. not sure how long, but he was up there hundreds of years, according to the yes, Bible. Yes, and um, he was a very spiritual, very... People would come with to from uh, many different countries just to see him. Yes, yes. So, but it doesn't really say all his works or anything like that. It just sort of gives a, a real general view of him that he was really great, though. Yes. A wonderful yes. spiritual being. And I, something tells me he wasn't even human sometimes. He just had so much power. It, it seems that he had a lot, a lot of hotter power. So. Hey, Sabrina, anyway. can I ask something? Mm-hmm. Sure. Is the, is the Q&A up on YouTube or no? It should be, yes. Okay, well, so... Tell people where to go because people are listening and they're posting in Hukalo. Actually, Nitrous is posting in Hukalo. I can't see the Q&A. Is it up? So maybe okay. you need to show them where to go or point it out where to go so the people out there watching can actually post. Yeah, if they go, actually, let me post it. Oh, he That's said that he's going to be on Skype, Q. Well, right, but we don't want to take the Skype questions and ask them, and it goes right to the administrator, yeah. you know, because then there's like three or four people maybe posting the same question that are doing that, that kind of idea. Okay. So just let it go straight to the admin, which is Sabrina. Okay. Can everybody hear me clearly? Because you dropped out there for a second, Roxanne. I got you. Okay, good. Okay. okay what is that link you posted? I'm posting it in the uh, different chat boxes. That's for okay. YouTube. Right. And once you click on the YouTube um, link at the bottom, uh, there is a yellow tag that says questions and answers. If you click on there, 
Awesome. Uh, you should be able to get your answers. Otherwise, um, I had my other chat. The I on the uh, on the galactic language chat. I have started a video call. Who? If other people would like to join there, then they could ask their questions because they could listen okay. to this and and ask their own questions. So you have two ways of doing it today. Awesome. Very good. Okay, are we all set? Yes, I believe we are all set. Okay. So, anyway, okay, anybody else want to request anybody? Because um, they're all listening. Whoever's available can come. So, Jim, I have one. Yes. Um, Sabrina, she will be happy if you connect with Fendorians, if it's possible. Fendorians? Yes. I don't. Have I ever connected with Fendorians? No. No. No, you haven't. I. I mean, I've seen what they look like, but I don't think I've ever connected with them. So, okay. Very good. Uh, any questions for me this morning before I go into my bye-bye state? <laughs> um, not at the moment, okay. but I'm sure we'll have some. Any contact? Okay. Any uh, contact at all from Kenjin yet? Um, the other day, uh, someone talked to them in a private session. So, Kenjin is around, but he hasn't said anything about you, Caitlin. And I know that he has a message for you. Um, I, I just wonder when he's going to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> so, but um, hey, when he does, he does. All right, all right. Yeah, I was just curious because I got. All right, hang in there, and actually, I will uh, mention that to him again. It might have just slipped his mind. Might have. But yeah. anyway. But um, what was it about? Do you even know? Uh, no clue. I just remember for a while he was telling me he had a message for me, and then last time I saw him, he looked a little bit uh, aggravated about something. I don't know oh, okay. why. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, he's a king, and there's a lot of aggravation, so. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I mean, really, think about it. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'd want to be a king or anything like that. It would be very difficult. Too yeah. much work. Too many people to deal with. I mean, I like dealing with people, but not that many at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway. I'm going to say goodbye for a little bit, and we'll see who comes. All right? I just want to say to the people who are using the uh, Q&A app that we are seeing your messages. Okay, very good. Thank you. Um, we have all kinds of things going on. There's messages all over the place here. Uh, Francine will read some of them if they don't come up on that side. All right, very good. Hang in there. I'll be right with you. Bye for now.
Good morning. It's Dr. King. Good morning. I'm only here for a moment, but I do have a message. Thank you for coming. I believe that there is some information that has become prevalent to you about the African American men that died. This is a wake up call, a warning that prejudice is still alive in your day and age and it is still violent and it still happens but it's not reported as much. So be aware, be aware when you see those that have the attitude of prejudice, of hatred in their heart. It may not be that they're actually acting out on something of their own personality, but something that was born in another age that is carrying on through their lineage. Their fathers and mothers hand it down to their children. Do you understand that? It's not something that just automatically appears. It's something that is taught. Prejudice is taught and carried out by other people's hatred that is carried out and then becomes manifest as a hatred within themselves. Because they believe, they believe that it's right. That the information, the information that they received was right. But with unconditional love, which actually is a misnomer in some cases because it cannot truly exist in third dimension in the way of the way that you live. Because there are things that you have to deal with that you cannot deal with with unconditional love. You have to deal with it in a way that satisfies yourself and society as well at times. Do you understand that? Yes. Because you can't do things against society and law that unconditional love would do at times. But let me tell you this. Keep your eyes open for those who would spread prejudice, for those who would live it, for those who are blinded by it. Yes, I said blinded, because it is not part of the true self. Do you understand that? The true light and soul of humanity is not prejudiced. It is something learned. It is something ingrained and something that poisons the spirit. Poisons the character. You've heard me speak about it before. I bring it to you again. Oh yes, they still talk about the mountaintop speech. Yes, I've been to the mountaintop. But, and when I looked on the other side, yes, I was telling you about that. When I looked on the other side, I knew my fortune and my fate as well. And I was willing to go there. How willing are you to go there? It is not always easy. Oh, it seemed easy at the mountaintop. But when you come down from the mountaintop, that is another story. That is reality. Now, keep your hearts and minds filled with as much love as you can. Resonate with that joy and happiness and freedom that love brings. Yes, freedom. Because prejudice is a prison. It is a prison for the soul. 
Of course, their soul will be released eventually. But on this planet, on where you're living, on that density, it is a prison. Because it is hard to break free from those things that imprison you. Do you understand? Do you, would you like a clarification? Or yes, please. You would yes, like please. a... Yeah, shall we just send love and that's all? Or there's more to that? There's much more to it. Because there is not a way to go and find those with prejudice and heal them of it. They must want to be healed of it. They must want to be rid of it. They must want to push it aside. And therefore, you must be an example. I was killed because of prejudice. These men were killed because of prejudice. That that's how much the hate, that's how deep the hate goes for prejudice. It's elimination of what they hate. But when they realize they're only hurting themselves in the long run, really, these people that came to die had a contract to die so that you might understand that it still exists and that you might work for their good. Now how would you work for their good? By doing as much good as you can and being as good as an example as you can because you cannot face them and tell them that they're wrong. You can love them anyway and that is difficult. That is difficult. The only way we're going to get rid of prejudice in the third dimension is to love each other no matter what no matter if you like them no matter if you hate them you should not have hate you should only have love and acceptance diversity listening and you know what? There will be some people that come into your life that you will listen to their prejudice and say, where does that come from? You may ask questions. You may fill their thoughts with your questions. But it will ultimately have to be them that sheds it. And that is a sadness to me because many are so in engrossed in it that they cannot be reached but yet it is never say never never say never we can do what we can but this is to show you that it still exists that it, prejudice ugly head is still showing its face I do not know what else to tell you, but that the freedom of love is the only answer. If you can find a different answer, I would like to know it, because I look down and I see that they move forward no matter how much love they're given from different people, how much that they are told that this does not or should not be part of their lives. Even many of them go to church services and still believe that the black man should be hated. There are so many different interpretations of what is the truth, but the truth is not even believable anymore sometimes. But you know what is true. You know that love, inclusion, diversity, acceptance is the answer. Please, 
even accept them so that they understand what acceptance is and what love is, what tolerance is. Now, you do not have to accept their behavior. You've heard that before. But you cannot deny them their individuality, their personage, who they are. There is some redeemable value in all of them, somewhere. And many of them have much redeemable value. It's just the prejudice that holds them into a dark spot. Is there any questions? Yeah, hello there, Dr. King. Yeah. Yes, this yeah. is Brian. Brian. Welcome. Yes. Thank you, my friend. Greetings. Yes, I. the message is very powerful and strong. Yeah, yes, love is definitely the answer. It really is. It's, it's getting it's a difficult. Into, it, it's a very difficult one. It's truly loving the self is one of the hardest things to do on this planet. Yes, I agree. There was moments where I, I had difficult loving myself because I felt I was neglecting my family. Yes. But I had a job to do. I had a calling to move forward. And I spent as much time with them as possible. But I had a hard time loving myself at times. Because we all have that human thought process of what should be and what is to be and what has to be and I brought them with me as much as I could. Yes. So love yourselves, yes. But I know that can be difficult at times. Even for those of you that are great loving individuals, you feel that you can do more. But be, don't be so hard on yourself. Look at what, what resonates with your life. Feel your resonation for the work that must be done, as well as the love for your family, friends, and yourself. Love yourself first, of course, because you clearly can't love anyone else unless you love yourself. Yes. Dr. King. Yes. Thank you for bringing the hope to this planet and the continuing to inspire many. Thank you. I'm only here to bring a message, bring an understanding to those who will hear, bring an understanding to those that will open themselves to it. You must be open in your heart to be able to accept the message. Do you have another question? It's, you know, at times um, I find it difficult, and, and how do we, you know, re resolving this? Uh, and I know that love, um, it's what will move us forward, and at the yeah. same time, it makes me very sad. Um, that we're still capable of treating each other that way. Yes, it's barbaric. I agree. But sometimes, let me give you an example. I find it difficult to, to understand how people can treat their animals cruelly or go and shoot an animal for sport. That boggles my mind sometimes. However, sometimes humans look at black men and men of different colors and women of different colors as animals. They do not believe they have the same social standings. They do not believe they have the same rights and feelings and, and many of the other things that they have. But that is not true. The black man has the same intelligence, the same feelings, the same heart within his chest as the white man. 
and the red man, and the yellow man, and the black man, whatever color, and the green man, and the blue man. It is just that we must teach that we are all equal. And sometimes these children that have parents that other things also get reinforced by their peers and their schools and their governments in their areas. So how is it going to die if it's being reinforced? How is it to die if it's going to be reinforced? That is a solution that you must find as humans. I am not there to preach my word. I can do it on this format, but it does not reach the masses. You can reach the masses in your own way, but one-on-one -on -one is just as good and probably more effective. Any more questions before I must go? Um, there, there is one more question. Yes. Go ahead. Hello. I would ask you, should we be interested more about the past or should we concentrate more on the now moment and what we can do in order to affect the future? Dwelling on the past will not do any good, but helping the children will. I believe there are many places out there that are doing very well with this, especially in the larger populated areas because they realize that they must live together to survive. And so the schools in the larger areas teach that they should be getting along and are getting along. Now, there are some areas that are not so populated and still have many backward ideas. These are the areas that we should send teachers into with enlightened ideas, they may be tortured in some senses for their beliefs, but they will know that they are doing a good job. Because if it is not hitting the nail on the head, they will go not be getting any reaction. Do you understand that? The reaction yes. to them is what is the sign that they are getting through. Do you understand that? Yes, thank you. Now, there are a few brave teachers that would go into these areas, but there are some that have, and they are making a difference. And the world is in a little better place than it used to be, but let me tell you, it is still not in the place where it should be. I would say that there are maybe two or three generations to follow in order things to change. I cannot hear that question. Can you speak a little louder? In my opinion, I would say that they, there are maybe two or three generations to follow after us in order things to be changed in a in a good way that you can feel the change. Yes, in some areas, two or three generations might do that. In other areas, it has been prejudice for thousands of years, such as the Middle East, prejudice against each other. And I'm not talking just about black men. I'm talking about prejudice against religions, and prejudice against other people of other countries. Some of these places will take more than a few generations to heal. But perhaps 
there are places in your country, in this country here, that would take a few generations and would be better, but it would not be completely healed. I see that. It is too deep. It is too widespread. But we will keep working. And I will keep telling my story and my messages, giving my messages when I can. Thank you. You're welcome. I will go now if there's no more questions. But I will leave you with a peaceful thought. I am proud of this community. There is much inclusion, much love, and much diversity. I accept you all, and you have accepted me, and I thank you for that. With much love, I will be sending prayers and blessings to you as you move forward in your each and individual special journeys. I grant you strength. I grant you the ability to know what you should do in that time when you have hard decisions. Have the strength to stand. Have the strength to be who you are in your perfect self. Your love will show through. It is not that your love will be disregarded. Love never is disregarded. Someone will see it. Someone will acknowledge it. And someone will carry it forward. Because if it is true, it will resonate with them. Those that are seeing, you might be in a hostile crowd. I have been there many times. But there will be one who... resonates with if they have that moment of question if they can see that spark in you that is the truth then you have made a successful life to help change someone toward a loving life instead of a life of hatred does that resonate with you? That one spot yes. is valuable enough for your life. Because after that, that spark will live and spark others. Yes. Because once someone has come out of darkness into light, they can't help but show it in some way, in some aspect of who they are, that light will show through and others will see it. Others will see it, just as we are all connected, as you are all connected. Spirit of the truth. That I can tell you. Much blessings to you all. Much love. Much love to you, and thank you for thank coming. You. Well, I, someone had asked me to come. Yes, I did. And I heard the message in your mind. Thank you, yes. And I know that that is a strong message that many of you deal with. Yep at one time or another. And I thank you for dealing with it the way you do. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings to you. And I will talk to you again someday.
we are. We are getting closer to you. We are not yet As you call it, Fendorian. Welcome, Les. Welcome. We are of less density than you, but you hold much information within yourselves that is of higher densities. We sense much higher movement among some of you, moving into higher dimensions as well. We have communicated with at least a hundred of human beings. This gives us great interest and joy. Great. Are you aware of us? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. Have you been aware of us in your minds? Uh, Do you see us? Yes. We send the pictures of ourselves to you so that you would know who we are in our forms. I cannot describe it any better. Can, can, you, can you tell us a little bit more about your civilization? We are actually much like you in some senses that we have many diverse cultures on our world. We have many colors of people just like you. And we heard your last speaker speak of such things and were interested because we have similar problems at times. It appears that what you call prejudice does not always disappear entirely from planetary systems and world systems. It can move in different directions. One culture may grasp a hold of another and yet still shun another. Even with telepathy, there is some standards that are not met with everyone in the universe. I said that incorrectly, but I think you understood. Yes. In what dimension are you in? We are upper fourth. I am upper fourth. Okay. You may um, not understand that now, but it will be explained sometime later. There is so much information that is confusing right now. It comes through and it does not present itself in its truest word form or thought pattern. There is much you do not understand about dimensions. You grasp them in some light way, but do not grasp them in their fullness. This is understandable, since third dimension density is so hard in its makeup. 
it is hard for me to even speak to you using this language because my thoughts are not translated into perfection thoughts to give you the ideas that would resonate purely with what I'm trying to say. Um, we have one member here called Sean. Sean. Yes. I am Lech. And uh, I'm sure he will want to say much love and blessings for you. And uh, he's love and blessings are appreciated. We send similar aspects of our beings to you as well. We will be arriving in your areas shortly around your planet in an asteroid area where we will take residence for some time and observe your planet as it moves forward in its quest for higher resolutions of spirit and dimensional shifts, evolution you call it, your telepathic thoughts are growing and it is obvious to us that you are resonating in higher patterns now. My friend, this is Brian. Yes. Greetings. Brian. My, my my question is also, do you work uh, alongside Griff Fickner or uh, the Octurians also? We are aware of who they are and communicate at intervals that are appropriate for communication and verification of galactic information. We need to keep track of many things, singularities, the movement of different bodies in motion in the galaxy and therefore communication among species is important. Yes. And we are aware of but we do not align with them as yet. They are primitive. Their thoughts in some aspects of density and movement. Decision making is often too slow for us. Interesting. Just, we, we welcome you. Thank you for being of assistance in this local universe. Thank you for accepting what we offer to you. We do not come bearing gifts, but only information and help in the sense that we will assist in any way that is acceptable to our species. We cannot give you unconditional presence of us. We are not acceptable in your density. Um, I would like to... I know there was a Fandorian that helped me. This is Sabrina. And, uh, yeah. and I would like to, to thank that being for being helpful and doing what it did for me. Um, you are one that has been communicated with because your skills can accept us. 
Yes. It is called to speak in this language because our way of communication is so different. Words and verbal language is primitive but acceptable to some level. Are there any others in Hugo that I, you have communicated with? Many. We have communication with many species in many different ways. Some are just images that we send, but they can understand because that is their communication way. Some are just binary numeral systems, communications that can be translated into language. You are aware of this on your planet. Binary language yes. that can also be put into verbal. Hello, beautiful light beings. Thank you. This is Inaida. Hello. Hello. Could you please give us a blessing on your language? I can inform you of a blessing. Our language does not transfer, but I will try. Thank you. It is non-verbal language. We use telepathy and brain waves to communicate for most of the planet that we come from. is received in each mind. There are other Fandorian languages that are closer to your speech patterns, but I am not one of those Fandorians. Your blessing reads as such. Thank you. An energy brought to your brain and body, bright colors in your density, sensibilities that in a strengthened position toward enlightenment in many ways. Feel free to express yourself because that energy is creative and creates the things that are matterful to you, matters to you. Connect priests and your density will lighten
thank you. Do you understand? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Who would like to know your name, if it's possible? Lesh. Lesh. I, that is the closest I can pronounce it in your language. Yes, or less. Yes. Thank you very much for Lesh. coming. Yeah. I have a, a, a Pandorian that it's around me. Do you think it would be possible for you to give me its name? Right. He is not around you as much as communicates through a different dimensional portal in your brain. Okay. He will give you his name in some future time. I do not have it. Okay. Thank you. Does anybody else have any questions? Yes. Well, so hello. Did you say that you uh, do you work with Arcturians? Because for some reason we or I connect you to Arcturians. We are similar in our densities. That is how. You must connect us in, but we are higher density, higher in, I cannot speak it, but okay, there is similarity in density, and yes, we are aware of them, and do speak to them, and can communicate with them easily. Yes. Communication is now getting slightly better. Good. So uh, you said that you have a different uh, diversity in colors in your species. Yes. That is yes. interesting. Um, first of all, uh, how come this has been like this? Is it through evolution? There we, like you, have had many seeds of different species come to us and build our world. Mm. I understand. That's this very similar to us as well. Yes, but these seeds came from different places than yours. Yes, yes. And one final question. Do you also communicate with other beings in our community? <clears throat> other beings other than human no I mean us humans do you uh, talk to there is a, at least 100 of you or more I do not have the number that we have s spoken to All right. but different parts and cultures are aware of different humans. We are not yet at your world. We are from very far. And you haven't have had uh, your ships here. They will come in the future. We are coming. All right. We are folding time and space. Thank you. Much love. Much love.
Okay, Pegasus has a question. Hello. Hello. Um, I want to know, well, I want to say that um, I would like to open myself up to members of your race. Is a relationship with a member of your race possible? We are aware of you. You would have to come to our density. We are not concerned about that at this time. Time. But we'll speak to you later. Eden. Things are too okay, much in flux for us at this time. Caitlin, you are next. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Okay. Um, I had an experience with uh, your people, and I was wondering what the reason was for that. We are trying to make contact with those that can receive us. It is an experiment to see if we can connect. What experience? Um, I was in a white room, and I was touching objects in these clear boxes, and then I saw uh, a group of your people that were in the corner of the room, and they were looking at me, and I, as soon as I noticed they were there, I, like, um, I, I wasn't scared or anything. I just knew that there was a reason why I was there. You and then they took me into another room and put me into a different room. And then I kind of just tuned out after that because I had other matters to attend to. Um, but this was all telepathic. It wasn't you, a dream or anything. It was telepathic. You were telepathic. in the spirit room, the white room, the spirit room. That is why they were surprised to see you. They took you immediately away from that room. It is... Uh, interesting. Thank you for that. Also, how many planets do you have? That is... An <laughs> One main planet and other planetoids in our system were civilized, colonized. But we have one main planet and three planetoids. I, I had a quick question real quick. Yes. Um, our... Are you aware of um, an extraterrestrial group uh, race called the Biavians? Biavians. It is not a word that is familiar to me. Perhaps they speak of themselves in another word. Okay. I am aware of many species. Perhaps uh, they how it is pronounced on your world. Yeah. Appar um. Apparently they have um, a mothership parked near the rings of Saturn. In our near the singularity. I believe so. Yes. I understand who that is. Thank you. I would. Um, I, I had a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I was just wondering if 
off if I had um, a Fendorian around me, if I had experienced it? Fendorian around you? Uh, not yet. You are experiencing other species. We are not one of those species yet. You are familiar with other species, mostly from Grookvigir Alliance species, Theadian, as you speak their names. Okay, thank you. Octorians, yes. There is you, yeah, as you speak their names. Yes, but not Fendorians. Not Fendorians yet. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Are Kating? Um, we will move back to our ways. Thank you for coming. Thank you for listening, although the words did not come from perfection. They are only of moderate resonation. We will try to weave out next time you you came through you came through just fine my friend thank you Much we mm, we feel privileged to be here Thank you for coming. Um, I have a lot more questions, but we'll leave that for another day. Thank you. Perhaps next time clarity will come better. Uh, hello. Oh. Hello, Jim. No, thank you. Hi. Hello, Jim. Hi, Jim. Hello. Hi, Jim. How is it going? Hello. Oh, whew. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Um, there's more people that want to come through, but I don't know um, what time it is or anything. It's uh, 10 after 11. Oh, okay. only, only if you're up to it. If you're up to it, then... Um, great, yeah, okay. Uh, that last one was interesting. That was a different feeling. Yeah, we got Fendorians. Um, Yay! That they were. It felt like they were uh, saying a hundred things, and then but only one word would come out. Uh -huh. It was like, blah, 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 and then you'd say hello. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, <laughs> a lot more than what were what, than what was coming out. It felt like there was like a lot of words. Lost in translation. <laughs> okay, Jim. With me, I have I have Frantishak, Pegasus, and and L. Elena. Okay. And you have you have them where over there on the other screen? Yeah. 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 <laughs> See? Oh, so there's 
right here. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, I saw when they when you blinked on when you spoke. When you spoke, I saw the other people on there. See, there's other people on another hangout. Oh boy. Yeah. So, are they aware that there's a second hangout? Wow. Yeah, it's getting bigger and bigger all the time. Awesome. It's so great. I knew I could get around the system. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sabrina. Sabrina. It's his, though, because look, Brian's moving fine. Sabrina. We, 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 we just need a couple more boxes and we'll look like a Brady Bunch. That. We'll look like the Brady Bunch. There's a couple more boxes it's above and around. Yeah. <laughs> lovely lady. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, that's very cool. Any questions before I, I try to bring somebody else? Angel, please. An angel. Uh, they, or, I'll ask or, them, but they only come when they have a message, pretty much. Yeah. Um, most of them. So, Carl would also uh, but, be um, nice. Sorry, yes, the present day. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I want to know about my orb. Please, Tucker. L wants to talk to Tucker also. I had a question. Oh, okay. Yes. I was just one. I was just wondering who uh, got the image that uh, they sent. The image of what? They said that they sent telepathic images of themselves. Did anybody else yes. get them? I got one. I got one of a very short, very white, 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 like bright, bright white, a person with like a plastery kind of face. It was like rough, but like plaster kind of face with like little edges. That's that's the image that I got. It little edges around the, the edge of the face. Like down here. So um but it was very, very bright, bright white. It was like a almost like sunshine white. And um but it was very plastery looking their face. So very dark eyes as well. It's like, like was a very sharp contrast between the eyes and the face. But their body hair? I didn't see any hair. I just saw white. And then a pair of eyes. And then I could make out that there was a head there. So it was really weird. But What about the one that went to their spirit room? Who was that? That was Caitlin. That was Caitlin. I, I got, because she went, I felt that there was someone in front of me, and it was weird because I was feeling the contour of the face, but I guess maybe it was something happening in the brain. Oh, what kind of face did you see? I didn't, I was more like feeling it than, than oh. because I could, I could feel the presence with me, and I was speaking Fandorian at that point. Okay. Yeah, there's several different languages. That was the highest of the Fendorians, from what I gathered but, from that. But I thought there was one, in, there was a group in fifth dimension. Yeah, from what I don't out. There, what they say they were? Upper fourth. They were yeah, upper fourth. They said high four. Yeah. But so then there is a fifth dimension Fendorians too. I was. Yeah. They were feeling. I thought they felt pretty, pretty high, daggone high. So. <laughs> I, I yeah. Even feel yeah, I think Lakesh had said that. Oh, oh, let him know that. Yeah. Uh, Francine said she could feel the lightness as she was sitting next to me. So that was interesting. What did you feel? What did you feel? It, yeah. Uh, yes, I, it light is the word I would put on it. It was the. Uh, um, more delicate, lighter energy. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's what I felt too. I felt very light. I felt very. 
actually very happy. It was, it was a very happy sort of energy. It was, it was and they like, were trying hard. Oh yeah, they were very. I I, I felt they were trying very hard to. Well, they, they it's just like their to... language is not compatible with ours, sort of in a way. Yeah, and they just have to so, get used to your body, Jim. Oh yeah, they're but the, the language is so very very. Um, hey, hey, Sabrina. Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt, but this just came in. <clears throat> That group that you were talking to, that high fourth density, okay, they're choosing to be high fourth density for a particular reason, much like Hathors are ninth density beings, but the most of the civilization hangs out in the fourth density because that's serving a purpose for that part. And as this Fendorian said, there's many cultures within the Fendorian race that are probably experiencing. So in other words, don't relatively, just because this one is high vibration, his language, his interpretation was very, very, let's say, difficult because he is a knowledgeable higher vibration than fifth density most certainly. However, that's where he's coming through in this now. So don't just, uh, the idea, let go of labeling just because you're in fourth doesn't mean you're not higher than fifth. This is the download. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Make oh, sense? Very good. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. That's, definitely does. So. Yeah, no, no. That's that wasn't it. It it was, you know, um I guess there are Fandorians at different levels. Yes, but what um, you said though, so, oh, hey, Sabrina, what you so, said is I thought that he's a high fourth and Jim said he's very intelligent, very smart, but yeah, but there's ones higher than that, which only right. leaves the resonation there's a difference between fourth and fifth. That's what the me that's why they said no. It, there is a difference, but this uh, one that came through Jim is higher than fourth, but just choosing fourth in this now for a particular reason. Make sense? It doesn't have to be a ladder of perfection. Yes. You can go anywhere and back again, that kind of idea. Right. And from what I understand, they, they, felt, they didn't feel like they were communicating very well. They were having difficulty. They yeah. were getting... They were doing as best as they could because their language is so very different. It's uh, yeah, they probably can express more of, thoughts with less words, with, with less. And well, they've evolved in the language of uh, numer numbers almost. I it, it felt like they were using binary num and numerical systems to speak to one another. Because it's more efficient and right. more perfect. They couldn't probably uh, talk to our computers faster. <laughs> yeah, so it was like a, they perfected their language to say as little as possible and have the greatest meaning as possible. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. yes. Um, so their communications are very, very quick but have a lot of information in them. So what you do is the brain, their brain deciphers this numerical system really fast into a language, and the, it could be like a few different things, a few different numbers and and images and uh, binary codes, but it translates into like paragraphs. So um, and makes perfect sense to them. So that's why they were having trouble um, communicating, is because uh, they had to get it through me. <laughs> They had to push it through me somehow, so <laughs> it was it was okay. Um, I want to tell Francine if at any point she has questions, please feel free to jump in. Oh, thank you. So yes, can you see Francine? I can't. You? No, we cannot. All right. Well, I'll move over just a little bit. No, you're fine. Fine. Oh, <laughs> okay. We can hear right. her though. There she the, goes. Well, we can see her now. Yay! <laughs> I will try to. Uh, I think uh, somebody else wants to come through, so we'll let one more person come through. Yeah. And uh, because there's a, quite a few, there's quite a few entities around today, but I'm not sure who's there. It's hard to tell when there's so many. So, um, 
Hold on one minute, and I will be. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. I am to occur. One moment. Ah, yes. How are you? Greetings. Hello, Tucker. Greetings. Hello. How are you? Greetings, Someone Tucker. spoke that they wanted to speak to me. Zenaida, was that you? Yes, I was just talking to you, actually. <laughs> Hello, my dear one. I would like to know about my orb. Yes. It's been replaced it or um, Gabriel's orb was replaced but your orb was just reactivated how many percent now you are almost fully reactivated oh beautiful thank you sweetheart you are at 87 percent but the, it will finish off very shortly. Thank you. Are you feeling much better now that the orb is in place? Yes. I would like That's to cool. know, Tucker, in which part of my body is it? It's in your stomach area. Yeah, that's what I got. They said it's abdominal. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I love you. I miss you. I love you. And I want to hug you it will help physically. You if you're grounding and you're balancing, it will keep yes. you in balance. There are things that are there around you that keep you out of balance, but this will help you with your balance. Thank you. I really appreciate all of you. No, that is not a problem. Hello. Yes. It's Elena. Hello. Hello. It's Speak up. I want to send you much, much love and a lot of positive energy from our part of the world. Just wanted to ask you about an orb I have received a long time ago from 12 people. They were with hoodies and I couldn't say which, um, which, um, what were they? You received an orb? Did it's you say you received, I'm, I'm sorry, did you say you received an orb? Yes, it was a long time ago. It was like a few months ago. Was it internal or external? External. It was, it was, I was in a circle from in a, a 12 people that were with uh, hoodies. I couldn't see their faces. Uh, yes, I understand. That was not a Grokfiknerian orb. However, it was a symbol of the orb that is within Zeneda and Gabriel. It is a symbol because it is sort of a medical symbol in your case. I say okay. sort of. I don't know exactly what that means, but I believe that it means 
of medical symbol. I I would like you also to comment on on what um, Ruth um, Sephira told us uh, previous webinar that once we have connection with you, it will never be lost. I have put in. It, uh, how do I say this? There is imprints on your channel areas. If you are able to channel me, you will never be able not to channel me. That is what I meant. There is an imprint on my channel area, which I do on purpose so that I may find you quickly. Does that make sense to you? But yes, yes what I told Safira is that I am ingrained in her channeling area. I will be always able to come to her. Okay, thank you. And I would uh, like to have a visitation from you as soon yes. as possible. Many, it is interesting. There are many women on your planet that would like to visit with me. <laughs> and I will visit with you as soon as possible. <laughs> I find it interesting that I connect with your female population so strongly. I'm I'm a man and I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, uh, to Kurt. Yes, please send me uh, some I, energy when you can for my back pain. I have pain in my back. Back aches. I understand. I will tell Tepe, and he will send energetic vitamins and minerals to you. Tepe, yes, exactly. Thank you. Sir, this is Ola? Yes, hello. Good How are you? Good to have you. Uh, do you have any messages for me regarding my attention? I could not hear you. There was interference. Give me any messages for updating me with any news coming up. But any news new coming up. There is no new hybridization for you yet, but it will okay. come. Okay. I know that you have asked for it, and it has. It is under consideration, and I believe it has also been approved, <laughs> but it has not begun yet. Okay, great. Uh, any, any update for my ascension, my ritual abilities, anything coming? Uh, I will speak to you on Sunday about that. Yeah, great. Thank you. Okay, Pe Pegasus is next. Yes. Uh, hello, Tatar. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Um, I have two questions. Um, I want to know that when we go to the colonies physically, um, will there be like any foods or meals for us to try? I'm curious as to what alien food tastes like. You may try them if you like. Some of them may be unpalatable for humans, and some may be actually even poisonous for humans. But there are some different you might call vegetables or different kinds of synthetic meats that might be palatable. I'm not sure how nutritious they would be for you, but I will check it out and have something for you when you visit. Most people ask for very common foods when they come to the colony. It is easy for us to replicate your dietary needs. Uh, thank you. Uh, and my second question, I want to know if you and I have ever met. Me and who? Yeah. You and Me and you. Oh yes, on the colony. 
We have met, yes. <laughs> Actually, we have met twice, more than once. You will remember next time, if we do site-to-site -site transfers, it will be much better. They have not started yet, and the delays are making me a little frustrated. Okay, uh, thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Hello? Can I give you one last question? Hello? Um, no. Hold on. Uh, Z, can you let uh, Jasmina go and then you can go? Okay. I just have one question. Do you have any messages for me? Is this Jasmina? Yes. Ah, Jasmina, yes. Continue on with your highest excitement. I see that recently your joy was very high. Do not let it fall. Continue to work forward. And you will be yes. much happier with your life. Thank you. You are welcome. I enjoy your spirit. Zenaida? Thank you. I enjoy your spirit too. Uh, Tukur, is it possible that you can transfer mm -hmm. and tell Hakitini that I finish his drawing face? Who are you drawing? Uh, Hakitini. Ah, uh, uh, yes. I would like to know what he think about his drawing. Can you show it to me now? Because I cannot see it in this particular place. Yes, I will. Can you see it or not? Nope. I can. I saw a glimpse of it, but. Okay. Can you see it now? Speaking. Uh, can, can you see, see it now? now? Yeah, I can see it now. A hawkatini. It is very close to yes. I, for what I can see, it is very close. Yes. Thank you. I think Angela and Sharon had a question. Sharon. Angela. Sure. I yes, I have a question. When the Fendorian was here, I I don't know if I really picked up on his energy or his feeling. Um, I'm just wondering if that's why I felt that there was a Fendorian around me is because I was picking up on his energy. Ah, uh, that is possible. His energy was very light. And it does absorb into electric ball technology because it is made to do so. Does that answer your question? Um, I also have yes. Um, I also have one more. Um, I'm wondering if you came to me the other night and um, uh, embraced me. I do that occasionally. Yes, with more than just you. But yes, I did. I let you know that things were all right. It was a moment when you were feeling a little down, and so I embraced you. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I also embraced a couple other of the females that were having a little trouble. I gave Laura a nice embrace. Um, that's all my questions. Very good. Sharon. 
Yes, hello. Um, yeah. I was just wondering if you had any advice for me or messages. Really vague, but I'm open. <laughs> Magnetic personality, which others can enjoy as well. <laughs> you draw people, to, and that is a wonderful thing. Positiveness, positivity. Thank you. Thank you. Any advice for? Uh, Telepathy. We are working on that in the Colony One with you, mm -hmm. and you are doing quite well, actually. You are able to sense when people are uh, unhappy or in have problems, even before you speak to them or even see their faces. You, before you even enter some rooms, you want know what's going to be there. Have you experienced that? Yes. Yes. This is a sign that your telepathy is growing. Fantastic. You're Thank you. You're welcome. Much love to you. Continue to move forward. Your telepathy will grow stronger. Kikira, I have a question. Yes. So I've been, at nighttime, I feel like I've been going everywhere. Yes. And in the daytime, I feel a sensation in, uh, in my neck and shoulders. And I'm just wondering if the two are related. There is some relation to that. Um, you receive a lot of energy when you travel. You do astral travel to different places. Not just the colonies, but you have places that you wanted to go, relatives that you wanted to be with at certain times. And this is just the residue of the energy from that thought process, from that enlightened process. It sometimes falls onto the neck and shoulders after one is awakened. Does anybody else experience that? It can come in many forms. It can be a lighter head, it can be light on the shoulders and neck. It can actually come down as far as the waist, feeling lightness in the body after astral projection and travel. So I have been to the comments. Yes. Oh, yeah. To occur. Yes. This is Brian. Uh, yes. Logan, Logan has been experiencing a heat wave that's been coming through him the past three or four days. Yes. Um, his body heats up extremely, and then it like goes back to normal. Then it heats up extremely. Is it just the adjustments? It's several things. Logan has the ability for healing. Yes, the I heat. felt that through his hands. Yes, he has the the ability to heal others. A great surge of heat is that of healing his own body. He is healing himself. He is aware of what the heat is, actually. And he is able to help others with healing. So this is what the heat is coming. It is at a very abnormally early age that he is aware of this. Does, does he, do you feel that he needs any assistance in this? Yes, you will be assisting him. Okay. Okay. He will let him know that it is just healing properties making themselves available to him. There is somebody that he needs to heal. I understood. Thank you, my friend. Much you love. Are. I have a question. Uh, um, hmm? Just a quick one. Uh, the cash? Yes. I have a, I have a pain not... on my shoulder, on my right shoulder. What is it yeah. coming from? I do not know. I would have to have a to pass, scan it. It is on your left shoulder. No, it's on the right one. Right shoulder. You have a pain. Yes. One moment. I will see if Tepet is aware of it. Okay, thank you. 
He will make himself aware of it. He is not. The answer will come momentarily. Is there another question in the meantime? Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello, Tucker. This is Sabrina. Yes. Um, I was wondering if you could give us an update on the, the Earth. There are two polar Arctic, whatever you want to call them, uh, storms coming, but we are working on them both. And there is also a nor'easter developing. So we are working to make sure that none of these are too intense. Also, there has been some that area as well as Japan uh, there's a place in Chile that is due for tectonic movement and possibly volcanic eruption and one place in Yellowstone National Park that we are watching as well Yellowstone National Park was very volatile at one time it has become less but it's still not the safest place in the world. It still has potential to be very bad or very volcanic there. Not bad, but volcanic. Okay, and um, I had also read that they found another shield around the Earth. There are different kinds of shields uh, we will not let anyone put a shield around the earth that is of a negative vibration. We will not let anything negative happen to the earth. Yeah, because um, the scientists found a, another shield and they don't really know what it is at the moment. So There are several of the species that are trying to protect the Earth. The shield that they found was to protect from solar flares. Okay. Um, the other question I had that I, I was talking actually with Zenaida. Um, if we are going to the colonies in the astral, why do we need a room to sleep? Because you even need that psychologically in your astral being you still have the the same thought patterns as you are in third dimension so your body even in astral form needs to rest because it is used to a third dimension existence so therefore you rest in your astral form and live as you would in third dimension in your astral form as well because you cannot stay consistently awake and be healthy. It's psychological in that form. Okay, and my, my last question was about the higher self. Yes. Um, how, who is exactly the higher self? It is someone that relates to your every being, every part of you, that can guide your spirit guides and yourself to finish the lessons that you had contracted before you come into that life. He does not necessarily interact personally with you, but he can. Do you understand? There's much yeah. more to it than that. However, that is a, a very simple and direct explanation. So, so would you say he's sort of like a manager? In many ways, yes. 
and in many circumstances, the higher self is someone of notoriety, because to become a higher self, you must know many things. To become a spirit guide, you must know many things, but you must know even more as a higher self. Oh, okay. That, that, thank you. Yeah, because I was a bit, I, I, I spoke with mine, but I was a bit confused exactly. I, I had a different image in my head of what it, what the higher self was. Ah, I see. Are you more clear now? Yes, I am, and I think it will help others too. So. Very um, good. Uh, Caitlin is here. I don't know if you noticed, but I have. I have two hangouts going, so um, yes. the rest of them are with me. <laughs> so, hey, so hey, Sabrina, it's... Caitlin, and then also uh, Sharon had a follow-up question. Yeah, um, Caitlin and L, and then Sharon can go. Thank you, Brian. Okay, so last night I had a dream I was speaking to a man, and he was telling me how he got Lyran. His, he had implants, eye implants, by Lyrans or something. He had Lyran eyes. Was this at the colony? Because I was seeing what was going on. He was showing me how... He that was, was, that was at the colony. Okay. But you were talking to a hybrid Lyran. You were talking to a hybrid Lyran that was born of a Lyran, but it had human... DNA implanted within him, within his mother. Do you understand? Yes. And yes, that was, you would have to be in the colony to speak to him. I see. And also, when we go to the colonies, will we look a bit different? Yes, you look a little different. There is no imperfections on your body. There's no blemishes, scars, or anything because you're in an astral form. You're in your most beautiful state when you are in... No, I mean physically, because we're still going in a different density, right? Yes, you're going in a different density, so you come in a perfect state, a spiritual state. There's no blemishes, no marks... Nothing is imperfect. No health issues. Nothing. Oh, because I thought if we went physically, we would still look the same. Or I was still pondering upon that. You would look the same as in your third density. However, when going in an astral form, you look slightly better. Oh, uh, uh, we won't be going in our pajamas, will we? <laughs> Actually, you appear in. Um, different forms. I, I should say most of you appear naked when you come and put clothes on when you get here, but not all of you. Some of you are oh, aware of that and have decided to imagine that you are not going naked, so that can happen. It is all about you. I guess the, the boys now are very eager to remember. <laughs> I did. I did not hear that. It was a joke. Ah. I don't know. I think I'd rather go in my onesie or something. That's why I was kind of confused. I didn't think they were going on to jammies. Are you laughing. going in a... What is a onesie? <laughs> a onesie? I guess you guys can relate to us. Can some of you wear suits? Is it a piece of clothing? Like a suit, but it's pajamas. Ah. ah. I see. It's a piece of clothing. Yes. I understand. Like a one piece. Yeah. Yes, perhaps some of you do appear that way. I am not there when you all. In different ways. I would say that way. This is Zinaida. Can you tell me with whom I'm sharing a room? Her name is Gizalda or Gazila. Where is she from? Z um, Caitlin wasn't done. I believe she's from Norway. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Go ahead, Caitlin. 
Oh, she pronounces her name Gisela. I'm sorry. She pronounces her name Gisela. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Can you take me my onesie, please? If Instead you prefer. of being naked, I don't want to be naked. I'd rather be in my onesie. I prefer. It is all up to you and what you decide to do. If you want to come in your onesie, okay. feel free. Okay, thanks, Tucker. You're welcome. You. Elena. I love you too. Um, Tucker, hello, it's Elena as well. Uh, again? I cannot I hear you. Speak a little louder. My hybrid song, Inca. Can you give me some follow-up information on how is he doing and what what percentage of DNA from me does he have? I did not quite hear all that question, but it is about your hybrid child. Which which child is it, Il? Uh, it's one, and it's Inca or Fioravante was the name that oh. I gave her. Yes, your DNA is about 30%. And he is doing fine. How, how is he doing? What is he doing? And how, how, how old is he? One moment. I'm not able to connect with that information right now, but I can tell you that he is doing fine. His age is, I cannot tell at this time. Just uh, give him the information that I gave him the name Fiora Vante, and that uh, he is much loved from all of us. I will, he knows that very well, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Sharon. Is it Sharon? Yes, Sharon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, take care. Um, <clears throat> I was wondering if you could shed some light on what's happening. Um, in my sensations while I'm meditating, if you can kind of enlighten me. Are you going somewhere? Or are you just having a high resonation? High resignation? High resignation? Yes. How do you feel during your meditations? <clears throat> um, numb. Yes. Um, often numb, and I feel waves of energy through my body. I feel tightening yes. in my different areas, I guess. Yes. You are... What is your intention? Are you intentioning your meditations, or are you just letting them run free? I try to, con I try to send out an intention of, of connection, um, ah. and then try to let it go, and I'm a little... Yes. That is what you're feeling, then. You are feeling the resonation of connection when the pulsations and the different numbness, you're moving out of your body, you're mm -hmm. sending uh, connections, and actually that is a very positive thing. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, it's a very, very positive thing because you are definitely connecting to others that are meditating as well and to mm -hmm. others that are not even meditating. To the whole, the whole circuit. Mm -hmm. But I believe your intentions for connection are with certain people. Yes, sometimes, and also so channeling. I, and also channeling. Yes, and also channeling, and that is a good thing. But there are these certain people that you are connecting with are definitely feeling that, and Excellent. definitely benefiting from it. So, thank you for that. And yes, your channeling is coming along as well. It it will be a little while yet, but mm -hmm. do not fear. You are you have the ability. 
And the entities that I reach out to, do they hear me? Do they feel? Of course. Of course. <clears throat> Thank you, Tiffany. Um, guys, I have somebody here, and um, he has a question for Marco da Costa, and he's what? saying that the last two weeks someone has been knocking on his home front door three times, two times at 11:30 today at 5 a.m. But we never saw someone, and never was someone there after knocking on the door. Um, and we make sure, and it makes us care who or what could it be. Yes. It's actually, I, I know what that is. That is, a man, men in black do knock on your door at all times of day and night. And when you do open the door, sometimes you do and sometimes you do not, they get an idea of what you look like and... They get, uh, they uh, scan you so that they know where your vibrations are at, and uh, what your actually how your emotions are, fear-wise, joy-wise, or things of that nature. Yeah, I actually had this, the same thing happen to me, Tucker. Yes. What's the reason. They're they're watching those people and they are trying to find out information we don't know the exact reason for that because it is not in our our bank data banks and what will they do with that information we do not okay um. Um. I think Karen and, had a question. And they are sent to certain people, and they do knock on the door and wait for you to answer. And then they are not there, and they are doing a scan from a distance. Oh. Is, is, there, so an so because is there intention good, Dakar? It is not known what mm -hmm. their intention is. So I cannot answer that question. Okay. But I can tell that some of them are just following orders and not really have any intention at all actually where are the men in black from? they have their own agency, they're from Earth most of them most men in black are Earthlings but there are a few men in black that are not okay um. uh, so I guess should we not open the door? <laughs> it does not matter. You are protected. Okay. Well, uh, All right. I must go. Thank you for coming, to Kerr. Thank you, to Kerr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, to Kerr, for coming. Namaste, everyone. Namaste. Namaste. Ika. Okay, hello. Welcome back. Hello. Hey, how are you? I know. I'm. Uh, I've had several several people tell me I shouldn't be drinking from a plastic cup, but it's the right. one that's closest. By. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I'm going to bring a glass cup into the bathroom now, <laughs> or uh, oh, maybe I should use this paper cup. I was going to say, this is, yeah, is this an eco ecological thing? Or? Yeah. Well, the plastic plastic is not good for you when you if you drink out of it a lot. So. So, anyway, all right. Jim, you didn't answer me about my shoulder my shoulder pain. Oh, was Tapa supposed to say that? Uh, I was assuming it's from the colony because I'm exercising home. Probably I'm exercising up there also. Probably tomorrow will tell me. I did the transfer already for you. Jim. All right. 
Okay. I'm so happy for that. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm so excited. I'm buzzed up, you know? Okay, well, they'll take care of it tomorrow then. That's probably what All right, doing. great. Thank you. So can you call me because I don't know how to do the contract, all right? All right, very good. Thank you, thank you. Much love. Oh, I hear somebody now. Does anybody want to say a final prayer? Do our ex extra outgo? I have something to say. I haven't spoken so much. Okay. But let me say, let me try it. Let me say, let me try it. Okay. I was uh, in the present now you are aware of your future in the present now you can call on your past bring those things to you that keep you learning and keep you aware of your path. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Very nice. Very are we good. are we ready to do Sabrina, the blessings? Yes, Sabrina, are you uh, Roxy, do you want to do any blessings or anything? Um, yeah, I can do this to go first, or does anyone else want to go? It doesn't matter. Uh, I think that uh, you and Sabrina and whoever else wants to do one. The, the one that's most new to the webinar, let, let the newest person do the prayer. I completely missed that. What was that? Yes. Um, I don't know if she's... Who, who would that we couldn't be? hear you. Could you say it again? She said... She said, let the newest person do the prayer, but I don't know if she's ready to do that. Well, okay. let's find out. Who's ready? Sharon. We, that would be you. Sharon. Go, Sharon. Go, Sharon. <laughs> I'm, I'm so too nervous for that. All right. Um, if you're not, it's okay. You're not obligated to. No, we'll take volunteers. <laughs> yes, volunteers. Well, I'll do it. Yeah. There you go. Let's hear Kate. And um, I will show you. It's very easy. And um, can you hear me well? Okay, you got to get a little closer. Yep. Speak a little louder. A little louder. Speak up, yes. speak up. <laughs> what about now? Can you guys hear her? Yes. I, yeah, she's soft, but I can hear. Okay. Okay, I would say just that here is Saint Nicholas Day today. It's a very, a very celebrative day. We celebrate and eat fish, and uh, that's because I will start with uh, an angel prayer, which is very uh, light and easy. So here I go. Sure. Let all the angels around us, let all the spirits, let all the kingdom of the heaven and the earth come together as one in this moment of time. Let us shine, give us the strength and the energy to understand one another and give us the positive vibration to be able to navigate our life in the destination, in the position that we will feel free to create our own reality and to be able to help others to awaken. I mean, namaste. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else would like to go before I go? I'll give it a try. Stephen, you? Yeah, sure. Okay. No, no, Fossa, you took a chat and knew your Kutanyataka, who got a chatting with a walk, got a chatter kit at the noha, meaning his net at all, and no cost to what's a ten kitty shot. But to question no has and kick at the nikaha, so go off a katika to draw a cassette of the walk, 
Untuk tadi kisah nak tertolak hong kata turun dekat situ tu yang nak kita justru terkait terkawan dengan wakat nak kata ini kat turah. Satu tahun tahu tua kau harus kaji kaji kata mung kau harus sanya tua. Nanti aku kata saya nak kaji aku tua. Kata dia kita ni yang kau sudah dah. Satu tadi kisah nak wakat nak kata ya. Aku sanya kata. Beautiful. We love our lives in dreams. But we fit together like a puzzle, and we all move together in an image that moves gracefully across the planet. Your spirit and my spirit lock together in a dream of understanding for the future, a dream of necessity for existence. For as we exist, we believe, and there is hope and light. Bring us together more. And let us discover diversity in our dream and make the colors more alive. Beautiful. Roxy? No, I think that's a couple of them we've had that were really good. So I think you can close it up, Sabrina. You're awesome. Okay. Okay, so I want to thank everyone for coming today. Um, we managed to get more people in here, so I'm glad um, everyone got to ask their questions. So we got here as many as we could. Thank you. Thank for you, the... Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina, for that very good idea. Yes, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. You are welcome, everybody. And uh, I would just say you... for the for. Everyone, um, I was thinking yesterday that the, we should do an experiment that all the people that are joining should just be viewers for two weeks and join for one week so we can leave um, space for new people and uh, that's how you will see that there are a lot of new people that will be joining the, all the weeks that are following. This, this is an interesting experiment actually. What was the experiment? We missed it. You froze up a little, so we didn't hear what the experiment was. To, to have um, to rotate for people to rotate, so that newer people can oh. can get in. Okay. Um, That's a good idea. Yeah. Also, I wanted to say one thing before you do your last final blessing. Max says hello. He is moving to Chicago. He is uh, not going to be with us for a while until after he moves, but he wishes everybody much love, and um, we miss him very much, but uh, uh, we may not see him too much in the future because he's going to be working on getting a job, and Chicago's a big place, and it's a, a new frontier for him, and uh, we wish him all the best there with him and his wife and kids. And uh, we love him very much. So just to put that in there, because I know that he's very busy moving. And um, I miss him from the webinars. So we'll talk to him. Yes, soon. we do. We love him very much. Yeah. Good luck, Max. So that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to add that. I'm sure he'll be watching the webinar. So let's all say hello to him. Yes. Love you, Max. Love you, Max. And Max. Love you, Max. Good luck, Love you, Max. Max. Yes. Very safe and happy. Max. We will succeed. <laughs> Success, Max. Very good. Thank you for everybody. Okay. Thank you, okay, everybody. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Takarana skua katia kia kataskon durua kati. Akario sokon nor kukuk skariana katur skati. Karios konduru kuskur on nor akati aria katuskur akatania. Terios kur konduru kotukuru ananaki aria kutskur anakia. Tiosuru tu sonduru kataria kaskiatu. Sorona skariataka. Toros kariatana na kuskur tunua. Toros korondu arati, 
Šiokus kuotu kuskuara na kaskia kiaka. Toruono skukar jaka. Tusia na kaskia katuku. Tosuoro tusapi. Terioso tono no kuskuara katana. Tioso rota tariata tia. Toskuara na sio tu kuskua. Tasio to tono ku. Koruoso tu. Karaskatia kaki. Kioro kuskua kata. Takari asa. Tuono ska. Ta suo tu so tu, ta na ki a kukusku, hari ata ka tu, soru ata, sana ku, haru o sana ki, ki oro ku, so ta na ya ki, ki a ski a ka. To ni ya, a tua, ta si o tu tu, ori a kuska ta. We are all made of tiny particles that were once light. We are all made in the same dream to be filled in this now. It feels so dense. It feels so light. And yet we are all the same in every place. Cover us with light now that we may shine for all eternity in a way that builds a world of consciousness more than matter. Very nice. Well, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Almost Jim. Good. Much love. Thank, Thank you, you, Jim. Oh. Much Thank love. You. Talk, to you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank, <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Jim. Much love to you. All right. I'm going to try to get to some hangouts this week. Jeez. Every time I try to get into one, they're always full, though. But because I always come late. Love and light. Goodbye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Thank you for coming. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Don't you think we're